Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the protection of SCR, okay? So, as long as SCR is considered, we need to protect the SCR against the four parameters, okay? So, first one, over voltage protection, over voltage protection. Second one, over current protection, over current protection. Third one, high dV by dt protection, high dV by dt protection. And fourth one, high di by dt protection i di by dt protection okay apart from this we need to protect the gate cathode circuit of the scr also okay but that we, we are going to discuss it in later okay so in this video specifically we are going to discuss the first two method first two protections okay over voltage protection and over current protection so let us first discuss over voltage protection okay so over voltage protection over voltage protection so so first thing is why over voltage protection is required in the scr okay so due to the over voltage what will happen if you recall the triggering methods the very first method is forward voltage triggering okay so in the forward voltage triggering what we are doing we are applying a high forward voltage across the scr due to that the breakdown of the depletion layer across junction j2 is taking place okay so over voltage protection is required okay suppose if we if we or if we not protected the scr against the over voltage then what will happen there is a possibility that the scr may get triggered right scr may get triggered or we can say the falsely triggered falsely triggered means what we are not interested in turning on of a scr at that at that particular instant but due to over voltage the scr may get triggered okay so in order to avoid the false triggering to avoid false triggering to avoid the false triggering of scr right we need to protect it against the over voltage we need to protect the scr against the over voltage okay so in order to protect the scr against over voltage we are using varistor we are using the varistor okay varistor stands for variable register right variable varistor stands for variable register okay so varistor we are having okay it is represented with the symbol like this okay this is the varistor this is the varistor okay and varistor is a device which is having the voltage versus current characteristic which is having voltage versus current characteristic as shown in figure okay voltage versus current characteristic as shown in figure okay so it is like this voltage is normal voltage and this is also the normal voltage in negative direction or the reverse bias so consider it as a minus v normal okay so as i said varistor is a variable register okay means during the normal working voltages during the normal working voltages the resistance offered by the varistor is infinite resistance offered by the varistor is infinite or the current flowing through the varistor will be zero current flowing through the varistor will be zero okay next as the voltage increases as the voltage increases above a normal working above the rated voltage then what will happen the resistance of the varistor falls suddenly the resistance of the varistor falls suddenly okay and the current flowing through the varistor increases suddenly current flowing through the varistor increases suddenly so if we check the vi curve or we can say vr curve right we can draw we are going to draw both the curves okay one is the current versus voltage second one is the resistance versus voltage okay so during normal working voltage the resistance offered by the varistor is very high 
so it is a infinite okay so it is a infinite so it is coming from infinity and as as the voltage becomes abnormal as the voltage becomes abnormal yes the resistance of the varistor falls suddenly resistance of the varistor falls suddenly okay similarly here also during the normal working voltages the resistance offered by the varistor is infinite so it is coming from infinity okay and as the varistor or as the voltage increases above the rated voltage or the normal working voltage the resistance of the varistor decreases to a very low value or it decreases suddenly are you getting the point okay so this is the r versus voltage resistance versus voltage characteristic of the varistor similarly from this resistance versus voltage characteristic can we draw the current versus voltage characteristic yes here resistance is infinite so what is the current current will be zero okay so it is a increasing from zero okay so current value will be like this or the current will be increasing like this this is for current okay i will represent this i with a red ink okay so this is the current okay so similarly in this case also yes it is a increasing like this okay it is increasing like this are you getting the point this is the current flowing through the varistor okay not through the scr please be careful okay so this is voltage versus resistor curve this is current versus resistor curve okay for varistor are you getting the point okay so varistor is a variable resistor which offers a very high resistance during the normal working voltage but if the working if the voltage across the device increases to a high value or go beyond the normal working voltage at that time the resistance of the varistor decreases to a, decreases suddenly okay decreases sharply okay are you getting the point so this is the varistor and where we where we need to connect this varistor in order to protect the scr against over voltage generally the varistor is connected in parallel generally the varistor is connected in parallel with the scr okay so suppose if this is the scr here we are having then we need to protect or we need to connect the varistor like this okay this is our scr main scr okay so across scr we need to connect the varistor because this is the over voltage protection okay so what will happen during the normal working voltage the current flowing through the varistor will be zero during the normal working voltage the current flowing through the varistor will be zero are you getting the point okay so current flowing through the varistor is zero means what yes during the normal working voltage or during the normal working operation yes so uh, resistance offered by the varistor will be high okay so current is zero okay so what is the power consumed by the varistor during normal working voltage it is a zero because current is zero resistance is high so power consumed by the resistor is i square into r okay so that's why during normal working voltage the power consumed by the varistor will be zero okay now if the voltage increases above the rated voltage or the normal working voltage at that time yes definitely the current flowing through the varistor increases okay and resistance of the varistor decreases okay so as the resistance of the varistor decreases yes what will happen whatever the extra additional current that was flowing through the scr okay that current will be yes bypassed through the varistor that current will be bypassed through the varistor so ultimately this resistance value will be very very low okay so if the resistance value is low what will happen definitely the voltage across these two points will be low okay so as these two are connected in parallel so definitely the voltage across the scr during abnormal condition okay is low okay are you getting the point so in this way the varistor protects the scr against the over voltage against the over voltage point to be noted varistor is a variable resistor it offers a very high value of resistance during the normal working voltage it is like a infinity okay next when the voltage becomes abnormal at that time its resistance decreases by a very large amount or decreases like suddenly decreases suddenly is this clear now next we are going to discuss the over current protection over current protection second one is the over current protection yes why the over current protection is required for scr means why we need to protect the scr against the over current or the high current yes because as we know when the high current will be flowing through the scr okay it will cause the high heat generation because as we know for any practical switch we are having some 
equivalent resistance when the high current will be flowing then what will happen it will cause a high power loss and due to that the temperature or the heat will be generated more heat will be generated and due to that heat our scr will get permanently damaged okay so in order to avoid to avoid the permanent damage to avoid the permanent damage to avoid permanent damage to scr generally we need to protect the scr against over current okay so next how to protect the scr against over current okay so for that we are using the fast acting current limiting fuse okay so we are using f a c l f okay so it is a it stands for fast acting fast acting current limiting fast acting current limiting fuse right fast acting current limiting fuse okay f a c l f okay now where we need to connect the f a c l f that is a fast acting current limiting fuse we need to connect it in series with the sr because it is a over current okay so when we connect the it is in series then only the current flowing through the fuse and the scr will be same okay so generally the faclf will be connected in series with a scr so this is the scr we are having faclf we need to connect this in series with the scr okay what is this fuse it is like a simple fuse okay every fuse or faclf is having some current rating okay this current rating should be same as the top the current rating of the scr okay when the current value when the current flowing through the faclf increases or go beyond the its rating its current rating then what will happen this fuse will melt this fuse will melt and ultimately what this fuse will be doing when current increases to a very high value then it will be acting as a open circuit it will be acting as a open circuit okay so in this way this faclf will protect the sr against the over current are you getting the point it is like a simple fuse only it is like a simple fuse only okay so next this is about the over current protection of the scr okay in the next video we will discuss about the remaining two protections of the scr that is the high du by dt and high di by dt okay thank you